Welcome to Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School, where we explore all kinds of things, stories about quilting, tools, field trips, maybe some famous quilters stop by, and of course, a little bit of copyright thrown in just for fun. I'm Elizabeth Townsend Guard. I'm a law professor, and I just want a quilt. Okay, so this is week four wrap up. Man, week four. We're at week four. It's kind of amazing. Um, so this week, what happened this week? Well, Jeanette Floyd um, had gone to QuiltCon last week, and on Monday we recorded um, and aired um, her field trip report, and so that was super cool. Um, Jeanette Floyd is, did a great job um, documenting and interviewing people. So if you want to go to our Facebook group website, Facebook group, um, just want to quilt, you can see that there. Um, what happened then? Tuesday, we had part two from Jill Rip at June Taylor, and she talked about all kinds of different cool t- tools that June Taylor, um, the company June Taylor has um, invented, um, and even ones that didn't work as well as she thought. She talked about the will of market and how important that is into sort of knowing how successful a particular tool would be, and she was just really cool. Um, we're also working on a giveaway with um, J- June Taylor, just taking the time because the students and I are working on the... Uh, the legal aspects and understanding um, how to do giveaways, sweepstakes, sweepstakes, contests, all that. So hopefully um, we will get that together soon. Um, Amy Newbold of Sotopia came. Um, it's a moving quilt retreat, an online community that is um, sewing and quilting. And she talked to us about it. Um, it is really cool and really amazing. It came to New Orleans um, in the fall. So I went by to take check it out. And she talks to us about how she did this whole huge thing. Then Lauren Anderson, um, who's a local quilter here in New Orleans, she talked to us. She just talked to us about sort of her life and quilting and sort of what we should think about and sort of why do why do we see a lot of um, women quilting and older women quilting and, and um, women with ma- women with kids. But you know, it's not just women. There are are lots of men, and that's that's important too. Um, and so that was, it's a really, I can't quite explain why. I've always feel really moved when I listen to that interview. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I also did some uh, some new interviews this week. So I'm psyched about that. Um, we've got um, Scott um, Fortunoff, who is the man of the hour. He We interviewed him a couple about a week ago. And we're getting that interview ready. If you don't know his name, you should. He is the company He's the man behind the company that bought Free Spirit. So he had already talked to us, and he's part of our uh, our advisory board. And so we chatted with him, um, and we're getting that interview ready. We also talked to um, a few of um, our new Facebook quilting army, um, which is super cool too, and I can't wait for you to hear those. Um, what else happened this week? Well, you know, regular life stuff. And um, I also, they also Uptown Quilting. Quilt, uh, sorry, Uptown Needle and Quilt Craftworks um, on Magazine started a really cool um, kind of just show up and quilt on one, on the first Saturday. So I went to that and that was really fun. Um, so if you're in town or in New Orleans and it's the first Saturday, stop by. It's really great. Um, hold on, I'm getting attacked by a kid. We also had um, like three or four boxes arrive today, uh, this week of uh, research materials. Um, Block Lock, um, who we're interviewing on Monday. I'm super psyched. It's really fun. I'm making a quilt with their stuff. Um, Havel sent um, cutting stuff, which is really, really cool. Um, Heather Kubiak sent a book on why cats create. Um, So it's a book about cats that paint, which is way too cool. Um, And I'm forgetting one. There's another one that showed up. Hmm. Who else? There was another one. Anyway, I'll, if I remember, I'll, I'll, I'll update this. But um, we are um, pretty psyched because the research materials mean a lot, and it's really important to the project. Um, it's really hard to understand what, how something works or why it has a patent or um, what what are the legal issues if you don't see it and experience it. So um, keep sending them. They're awesome, um, and we're going to also try to get. Um, think through uh how you all can play with them too so um so yeah um we're also thinking about going to pensacola um the quilt show in pensacola so that's next weekend and we're trying to figure out if we can get a group together to go but if you're in there and you want to talk about field trip report or we do end up going um i'll post it on our facebook group um come see us um 
I don't know, we're just growing, growing, growing. We're on the verge of our first month anniversary, which will be next week. Um, and so um, we're getting ready for that. Uh, that's it. That's the wrap up for the week. Thanks for listening. We are growing and it's so cool. So this is Elizabeth Townsend Guard. You've been listening to Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. We want to hear from you. Join our army, our quilting army. Go to our Facebook page. Suggest people to be interviewed. Suggest yourself to be interviewed. We are excited to hear from you. But most importantly, I hope you get a chance to quilt today. 